So, as always, partial fraction decomposition is um, made for you, my boy, only. So, that's just for the interested boys and girls out there. So, let's go ahead and get started. You see, we just have those quadratics, you could say, with respect to you right here. But the thing is, we don't really have a u times something term, so why not um, make everything simpler and say that u squared is nothing but lambda. Let's be a fucking dope right here. So u squared is nothing but lambda. Resulting in 1 over 1 plus lambda, making things way easier to be honest. Lambda x squared plus 3x squared plus 6. And you will see why I am rewriting this little term like this with parentheses. It makes things also easier. Okay, and now we can do regular partial fraction decomposition. So this is equal to, for example, a over 1 plus lambda, so that's a fucking huge fraction, plus b over this chunk right here. So lambda x squared plus 3 x squared plus 6. And now we can just multiply both sides by this big denominator right here, so this one right here actually, and see what we get in the first place. So we end up with 1 being nothing but this and that cancelling out. So we have a times this chunk right here, a lambda x squared, or a x squared times lambda, and also plus a times 3 x squared plus 6. So you could say with respect to lambda, this stuff right here is just a constant, so why not just bring it together? It makes things easier, obviously. Plus b times, well, the thing is, this and that is going to cancel out, so we have b plus b times lambda. I hope you can see where this came from. And you see, on this side we have um, a polynomial with degree 0, and on this side we have a polynomial with degree 1. So we need to reduce this polynomial to 1 with degree 0. How can we do that? Well, just get rid of all those terms that have a lambda. Um, yeah, right. That means that um, a x squared lambda plus b lambda must be zero in order for fulfill our little restriction right here. Searching for the zeros of this thing, so we don't want to take a look at lambda right now. So that means we can just compare coefficients and let's subtract b on both sides. We can do this. So ax squared is nothing but negative b, or b being nothing but negative ax squared. And now we can just plug this stuff into here actually. So we end up with this and that are going to cancel out in the process. So we have a, 3x squared plus 6 minus ax squared. And you see now we can just factor out an a and 3x squared is going to cancel out kind of with this x squared to 2x squared. So we end up with a times 2x squared plus 6 in the process. We can divide both sides by this thing right here. We don't want it to be equal to 0. That means that a is nothing but 1 over 2 times x squared plus 6, and you see we also have a restriction for b right here, which also means that b is nothing but negative x squared over 2 times x squared plus 6, and this has been our partial fraction decomposition. Don't forget to replace our lambda with u squared once again, and now we can plug all of this stuff into our integral. <laughs>